Hello and welcome to this Dr. Osmas key skill video on differentiating a collection of terms that require rewriting in the form ax to the b. Now we've explored in previous videos what differentiation means, it just means to find the gradient function and that allows us to find the gradient of a curve or the gradient of the tangent of a curve at a specific point. So do view that video first if you don't understand what I mean by that. But now we're trying to differentiate a more complicated expression here where we've got uh, fractions and roots and things like that. And all you need to do is to first rewrite each of these terms in the form something x to the something. So if we take 3 over root x, for example, if we just call this y for the moment, then remember when it's over something, when x is in the denominator, it's going to be a negative power, so it's going to be x to the minus something. And when you have root x, root x is the same as x to the half. So therefore, this is going to be x to the minus half. And because it's free lots of 1 over root x, it's going to be 3 x to the minus half. What about the next one? We've got minus 4, and then we've got the cube root of x. Now, the cube root of x is the same as x to the power of a third. So remember, when you have roots, you're going to have fractional powers like this. So if it's a square root, it's going to be a power of a half. If it's a cube root, it's going to be a power of a third. If it's the fourth root, it's going to be a power of a quarter, etc. And make sure that you include any numbers in the front. So if you've got three here, you include the three in the front. Four here, you include the four in the front with the negative, obviously. The next one, well, that's going to be five lots of, well, it's one over x squared, five times one over x squared. Well, the x squared is in the denominator, so it's a negative power. It's x to the minus two. Because remember, when you have a negative power, it means you do one over x squared. And finally, we've got minus six root x. Now, root x, as we discussed, is just x to the half. Now, we haven't actually differentiated yet. All we've done is rewritten this in a form that makes it easier to differentiate. So now we can actually do the differentiation bit. So we've got dy over dx. That means the gradient function. And we do the usual thing. We times the number in the front of each term, the coefficient, by the index of the x. So we do 3 times minus half, which is minus 3 halves x to the power of, and we reduce the index of the power by 1. So minus half, if you reduce it by 1, we get minus 3 over 2. If you find it difficult to minus 1 from that, just imagine it as minus half minus 2 halves, because 1 is 2 halves. So minus 1 minus 2 halves is minus 3 halves. The same here. We multiply the minus 4 by the third, which is minus 4 thirds and then we reduce the index by one. So one third minus one, well that's one third minus three thirds, that's minus two thirds. Next, five times the minus two is minus 10. Reduce the index by one, minus two decreases to minus three. And finally, the minus six times half is minus three. Reduce the power by one, the index by one, half becomes minus half, and we are done.